Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about union types within TypeScript. So basically, a union type is sort of like a hybrid type. So this means you can have a value which can have um, multiple data types. So basically, you define options for the type of data to be stored in that value. For example, let's define a new variable called m and give it a union type. So we're going to say string or number. Now this here means m can either be a string or it can be a number, doesn't matter. Let's make this equal to the number 10. Now that's all good. Let's try a string, let's say dom, that's also fine. Let's make this a boolean, just say true, and we get an error here. So we can choose between a string or a number. Let's see how this thing works within a function. So, just quickly, I have an index.html file here, right? And I have three boxes on the screen. Box 1, box 2, and box 3. I've got some basic styles going on here. Alright. And box 1 has an ID of box 1. In the browser, it looks like this. Box 1, box 2, box 3. Now we're going to use a function which accepts a hybrid, sorry, which accepts a union um, type as a parameter and basically have two ways of changing the background color of these boxes. So we can either pass in an HTML element as a parameter or a string. Passing in an element makes one box red, a string makes it work like a query string, we can make all the boxes red at once. So Let's get right into it. Inside this code here, this TypeScript file, I'm going to define a new function called set red background. All right. Now for the function argument or parameter here, I'm going to say that this um, this first parameter here is called u. All right, and it's going to be either uh, the type HTML elements or a string. All right. And that's the union type right there. This function is going to return nothing, so we'll just say void. Okay, so first off, I'm going to define a new array called elements. Alright, so I'm going to say let elements right, of type HTML elements array equal to an empty array. Now from here, we're going to change the background color to red for all of these elements. So I'm going to say elements dot for each. All right. I'm going to use this syntax right here. So for each of these elements, all right, we're going to say elements, element dot style dot background equals red. So we're changing the background color for all of these elements to red. Now, we're going to have to now populate the elements array by looking at the u argument here. So, in between here, we're going to narrow down this type and do different things based on whether it's a HTML element or a string. So, let's first test to see if it's a string. And if it is, we're going to use the query selector all method to move on. So we're going to say use selector here, a little comment. So use selector. All right. And we're going to do this. We're going to say if the type of u is a string. All right. We're going to reassign the value of elements to the return value of document.querySelector all. So we're going to say elements equals document dot query selector all. Now for this query, we're going to pass in u. Now real quickly, this actually returns a node list, and this is an HTML element array. So to match this type here, I'm just going to say array dot from, and then pass in that return value right there. That's all good. So now in this case right here, u is obviously a string it's going to be a selector something for example like dot box all right or even a hashtag box one 
or just a div, you know, CSS selectors right there. Okay? That one's done. Now we're going to test if this U is actually an HTML element. So, we're going to say if U is an instance of HTML elements. If that's the case, then we're simply just going to push that element onto that array. So in this case here, we're just going to say use a single element. Okay. Alright. That's all done. So no matter what here, this will work because this array here will be filled by either one element or a series of elements returned from this query selector. So now, we're just going to go down here and get a reference to this uh, first box. So, we're going to say const box1 equals document.querySelector. Sorry, uh, get element by ID. We're going to get the element with an ID of box1. All right, this box one is an HTML element um, instance. So we can pass this into this set red background function. So we're gonna say set red background and pass in box one. Let's save this, go in the browser, refresh and see how it looks. Refresh, boom, box one has got that red background color. In this case here, this has been used in this um, function here and that all works. Now as I said we can also pass in here instead of this box we're going to pass in a query selector. Sorry, a selector. Right? So we're going to say set red background and pass in instead dot box. Now this will run this section and it's going to return all the divs with the box class. We'll save this one, go in the browser, refresh one more time, and we see all the boxes have the red background. And that is how you can use union types within TypeScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.